Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I've been holding on to a sample that was sent to me by, by a friend of Chanel's Bois de Thiel, but this is an eau de cologne version. Now I tried to, I, I had a few Googles to see if I could find out much about the eau de cologne version of Bois de Thiel, but I couldn't even really find out uh, what year it came out, how long it was around for. And I thought instead of reviewing it, because I haven't really worn it a hell of a lot, instead of reviewing it, I would smell it along with a couple of other Chanel perfumes that I have. Now, a few people have mentioned that Bois de Zil, um, is kind of related to Chanel Egoist. Obviously Bois de Zil came out a long time before Egoist ever did. And there were, there, I, I am aware that there were other, I guess, predecessors to Egoist and, and uh, uh, that no longer are made by Chanel, like Bois, I think it was Bois Noir um, that came out before Egoist. And there's, so there's been reformulations, but I was curious to smell them side by side, for instance, and see what similarities there were. Now, again, this might be a completely pointless exercise because Bois de Zille Eau de Cologne doesn't exist anymore. Uh, or is not sold anymore. You can probably still find the EDT version that came out as uh, the as part of the Les Exclusives line. Uh, now it's in Eau de Parfum in that same line. I also have my bottle of number five Eau de Cologne here. So I'm going to be talking about Bois de Cille EDC, number five EDC, and a current version of Chanel Egoist, or at least a 2016 version, which is what my, my bottle is. So I'm going to start off um, by trying to describe what I smell here with, with Bois de Cille. Now, I've got the dry down going on this part of my arm, so I'll just spray it a bit um, in a different part. Uh, because when I did spray it on, the first thoughts that came into my head were Chanel aldehydes. Uh, it's unmistakable. It's it's now in my mind unmistakably Chanel. And because I own number five in the EDC version, the first thing, I, the first perfume that I thought about was number five. So I was curious to see whether Bois de Zille would um, dry down and I guess, start to resemble Egoist a little bit more. But look, what I've, what I've since worked out smelling all of them today at separate times, uh, that they have some relation to each other. But if, if I'm being totally honest about what I'm smelling is that the, the opening certainly reminded me of number five more than what happens with Egoist. Now, when you spray Egoist on, instead of aldehydes, you get spice, mainly cinnamon. There is spice from uh, probably, uh, it's a spicy floral, it's more of a carnation, probably a bit of clove. Uh, and as Egoist dries down, you do get, um, rose becomes like sort of the more dominant floral. What I found with the Bois de Cille as it, as it dried down, remembering I'm speaking about the Eau de Cologne version. Now, I don't know how different it is to the Parfum, to the EDT, to the, to the Eau de Parfum, but what I found with Bois de Cille was that eventually the, that aldehydic opening faded away and it became it became woodier, um, and I suspect that when they were making the EDC, that there was a fair amount of um, proper mysore sandalwood being used. I I have some I have a sample of mysore sandalwood which I which I smelled just to reference what I was smelling in the Chanel, and obviously Chanel's got other ingredients mixed with it, but it did 
give off that lovely blonde woody um, creamy creaminess that you get with my sauce sandalwood also what comes out in Bois de Seal, particularly in the bass notes, is this, this gorgeous buttery um, orris, orris note. It, it, and, it's dry, and it's kind of dry and chalky instead of, um, you know, ir makeup-y iris is what I'm trying to get at. It's very rooty, it's earthy, and it's blended perfectly with the woods in Bois de Seal. Now, when I um, smell number five, instead of trying to, you know, instead of remembering it, um, definitely aldehydes, but when you do actually smell the Eau de Cologne version of Chanel number five, it is so much more ylang ylang prominent with the aldehydes and floral um, jasmine in, in there. And, when this dries down, there is there is a big um, slug of civet that that appears. So all three perfumes are quite different. And what I will say is that um, if you are looking at Bois de Seal as uh, a more refined version of Chanel Egoist, for instance, um, I don't think you should go in with that with that um, preconception. Basically, I, I think they should be treated certainly as two different perfumes. And dare I say, and dare I say it, maybe guys who like their perfumes to be not so feminine leaning may not go for Bois de Seal. Um, and prefer the, the spiciness of, um, of Egoist, even though Egoist is almost anti-masculine, if I, if I had to describe it. Um, Egoist, full of spice, the, this current version certainly doesn't showcase too much natural sandalwood, although the dry down is perfectly lovely. I love this, I love this scent. Um, I do actually prefer it to what I get from Bois de Seal from me. I mean, I would wear Bois de Seal, but um, it is definitely more aldehydic in the opening and certainly this dusty dry orris comes through a lot on my skin when it, when it dries down. But it, but it is beautifully made as you would expect from a, from a classic Chanel. Um, and, I, and I need to just point out at this point that I am by no means a Chanel aficionado. I, lo I love some of their perfumes, obviously, uh, but I don't get steeped into the history and knowing when all the versions and bottles came out, why, you know, what changed about them. So there, there are much better minds than mine when it comes to um, Chanel versions, history of Chanel perfume. I can only describe what I'm smelling. So remember, Bois de Seal EDC, I've got Egoist, and Chanel number no. five EDC, apart from the opening, um, which kind of reminds me of Bois de Seal. But I do, I, uh, having said that, I also want to mention that I have sniffed, um, recently been wearing Kia de, de Russie, EDT when it when it came out um, in that first less exclusives line and again those that aldehydic opening makes an appearance there and I want to say also given that this video is essentially about Chanel albeit very specific perfumes that uh, that um, I think I actually prefer the current EDP version um, of Kia de Russi um, compared to the EDT. There is, there is a bit of, I don't want to say, well, mythology is not the right, the right word probably because people obviously believe that that first EDT line, some, a lot of people believe it's far superior to the EDP, but most of what I've smelled in that line um, I've actually preferred the current EDP versions. Maybe I'm just a perfume philistine and I don't know any better, but I know what I like and my nose 
recognizes what it likes as well. Um, I, I don't know if I really have much more to add other, that, other than as far as my own education with Chanel, I'm certainly now becoming much more familiar with a particular house style. I, I think what Chanel have going for them is that they, they certainly tend to have a DNA running through most of their perfumes. Uh, and if you smell enough, I think it's a lot easier to say that smells Chanel-esque, more so than something like saying this is Dior-esque or even Guerlain-esque, dare I say, even though they've got the whole Guerlainade thing going on. I think I would recognize a Chanel from a blind Smith. Uh, did I just say Smith? From a blind sniff um, to a Guerlain blind sniff, for instance. Uh, so yeah, I thought that was interesting and interesting enough to share with you. But I would love your thoughts on these perfumes. And if you know, if you are more familiar with different versions of Bois de Seal, please comment because I, I've read reviews of um, this perfume, but only EDP, EDT version. I know there's a Parfum version. Um, so I'd be interested to know about your, your thoughts because now I'm particularly curious to try the current version of Bois des Ill, uh, in, in whatever concentration I can find it in and um, look forward to testing it more. Thank you for joining me. That is all I have for today. Bye bye.